Network is presented by Geico. And yeah, we're in Reno. SMU comes calling the Wolfpack at home. The weather has changed. We were expecting 85. And we've got a dusting up on the Sierras. Hi, everybody. I'm Rich Waltz along with Robert Turbin. Um Rich, I've played in these type of elements, going to Utah State, played in snow and rain. We'll see how SMU is able to respond to these sort of elements tonight. Keaton Crawford thinks about it and then goes to a knee. All right, more newness. All season, zero interceptions thrown, all training camp. He's been extraordinary so far, and that's why he's starting. Empty here on third and five, and a quick snap, quick throw in traffic, and it's incomplete. And the SMU defense opens their season with a three and out. Jaden Smith, snap. Back on the line of scrimmage, they go right here. Stone with time up the middle, and it's picked. Wow, Chad Brown with a diving interception at the 30. As one of the best cover corners on the team. Three and out for Nevada, and a pick for SMU's first possession last year, especially on the outside. Receivers with height, little option look, and that's a first down. And Lewis is across the 45. Amad. Sean Dollars in the backfield. That's Braham in motion. This is third down. And about six. Lewis looking and fires it out of bounds rather than take the sack. And Nevada will punt. Yeah, he's going to be looking to be on a tear tonight, disrupting the operation for SMU's offense. He's the key. Brashard Smith carries again. Interesting note on this guy. For this defense, Michael Coach Jr. that time reading that route. Smith in the backfield. Pitch it to Daniels around the left side. And Daniels across the 40, out to midfield. Roderick Daniels Jr. is one to potentially be thrown out the game. Now, obviously, something must have happened. There is a slap in the face. He's defending his teammate. But perhaps something happened there during the play that caused the injury to the Nevada football player there. Yeah, the injury happened well before. Fouls by both teams. Unsportsmanlike conduct, SMU number eight. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Nevada number eight. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Nevada number zero. All their first of the game. Those fouls offset. The result of the play is a first down. Play the field position. Four receiver look. Nevada is going to bring four. Stone. He can run. Squares. Fires. Incomplete. Jake Bailey, the intended receiver, and Nevada's defense holds again. Actually, not a bad decision there by Preston Stone. He found some space out to the left, and I mean, he's, if he's able to get that ball just a tad bit down and get to the next possession. SMU before the snap, everybody backed up about five yards. They were thinking like you are. This is red. There's a flag that flies in as red goes down at the 27. <laughs> First game of the year, it's week zero, and you see a lot of this type of stuff. SMU there bailing out this offense after backing these guys up in additional moments. Let's see if he can find an open target here and keep these chains moving. They're down six. Blitz comes. Lewis with time fires to the sideline and it's incomplete. Braham was the intended receiver. Good pressure there by Corey Roberson Jr. The graduate transfer at Tulane on the road played well in the bowl game loss to Boston College and Boston threw his Smith again. And that moves the sticks and seven. Blitz comes. Jennings flushed. He's going to keep it. Cut back and he doesn't make it. Crawford with a terrific tackle at the 40 yard line. A program that over the last two years has gone 4 and 20. The fact that it's scoreless and even and their defense is playing like this is a huge shot in the arm and a snap gets over the head of Pearson who picks it up and is hammered. Balls down and picked up and it's inside the 10 and Nevada's got great field position. This is a huge play for Nevada and SMU last season a lot of mishaps on special teams particularly in their kicking game here it is again showing itself in the punt situation.
situation, Nevada then is able to take over and take advantage of the ball being on the ground. Great field position for them getting the ball back to their offense. Okay. First and goal for the nine. Dollars in the backfield. Lewis in the shotgun. Nevada on the doorstep. Lewis keeps and he's swallowed up. Back at the 12-yard line, that's a loss of three. Elijah Roberts there to get it. Again, here's the situation. Challenge these corners down the field if you're Nevada. This is Dollars. Dollars down inside the five. It'll be third and goal from the five. Dollars transferred from Oregon two years ago. Lewis has time, fires, end zone, caught, touchdown! Chase Henry, the tight end, and Nevada scores first. Well, what Nevada did that time is they brought Jane Smith in motion to the left. They kind of used him as a bait player inside to make it difficult for the defender who was guarding Jace Henry to stay with him. Jace guarding job at tight end this offseason. Last year, SMU had issues in the putting game. And they arrive here in week zero. Bad snap, big hit. And then a Nevada touchdown. Brendan Lewis, Chase Henry, and the 270 pound tight end is in the end zone. And that is where this team has really improved in situational moments. LJ Johnson in the backfield. Open there is Matthew Hibner, the tight end, and he blasts his way inside the 35, down to the 32 of Nevada. Play faster than fast, and they're ready to roll on first and 10 from the 32. Jennings, a handoff, and it goes nowhere. That'll be a loss of about four. He is one of the smartest players on that defense as well, high IQ. So it's third down and 14. The wind has actually stopped here, which is good news for SMU. Blitz comes, and Jennings gets it away. It's Knighton with the catch, and Knighton flips over what looks like the first down line. He's got the first down. Really nice job by Kevin Jennings, hitting the check down and very close to being a block in the back right there. Trouble with the volume and the uh, communications in his helmet. Fires to the end zone, it's incomplete. Flag down, a late flag right at the goal line. Jennings hit as he threw. Well, they may get Chad Brown. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 24. I see. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, automatic. First down. That's not clean. Yeah, didn't initially see him. First and goal for Shard Smith in the backfield. And this is Smith, winds his way down close. And he's inside the two and right about the one yard line. Which has really given this team an opportunity to develop some relationships amongst one another. Like a touchdown on this Saturday. Hit there as Johnson stood up and Chad Brown the initial hit and Johnson does not get in. So. They're still on the doorstep. Chad Brown with the initial hit. Doesn't give up on the play after he loses his helmet, but Ikehifo there to finish the job and keep the runner then out of the end zone. There's a flag down at the nine yard line. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 24 continuing to participate in the play without a helmet. Half the distance to the goal and an automatic first down. Whoa, whoa, what a call. Yeah. And put it all out on the line for your football team. That's all Chad Brown was trying to do there. Johnson in the backfield has an end zone touchdown. And SMU finally hits pay dirt. Well, one of the emphasis for SMU coming into this football game, tower spread offense. And of course, spread is the passing game, but power is delivers. Into the end zone, SMU. This game is even now. In Reno, 7-7. Tuning playing those big games. Mount West wants to be a part of it. Back on offense, and Savion Red, Cam Robertson came in with a high tackle, got him to the ground. Flag came down late. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense number 92. 15 yard penalty. An automatic first down. That's Corey Robert. Blitz comes and Lewis steps through it and bursts through for the first down to the 47 yard line. Sunshine appearing now here in Reno. Lewis mobile fast 
and he has a big gain inside the 25-yard line. Brendan Lewis, Jonathan McGill made the stop. The things that was important for Nevada in talking to offensive coordinator Matt Lubick was getting Lewis on the move. Didn't want to call pass plays where he would just drop and be a snap to the running back, and he's going to run it. It is, and it is red, and he slips. Oh, and it looked like he had a path to the first down. It'll be fourth down at about three. Yeah, you saw a 76-yarder. No wind right now. High snap. And the kick is good. Nevada with a nice drive and an answer to the SMU. What kind of rhythm Preston Stone can get in, right? He's been on the sideline for a little while. Sometimes it takes a couple series to get into the football game. Third and nine, a little bit of a blitz. Stone has time, fires it there, and it's incomplete. No flags. There was contact. Kane Savage. These wide receivers, great coverage so far in this football game. Pearson, a good punt there. Bellin with the catch, little fake there. Bellin has a seam, nice move there. He's 40, gets outside, and Bellin is run out of bounds at the 47-yard oh, line. Oh, that was nasty right there, Rich. You Third and four, SMU brings heat. Lewis will keep, and he's shy. Well, this is a decision here. It's gonna be fourth and two. You're Nevada, you're up three. You're gonna go for it here. You've gotta put Brendan Lewis on the move. Move the pocket right here to give him a pass run situation. No, draw him offside. Nope, it's Dollars with the carry, and he ain't gonna get it. It's a bad call. Alexander Kilgore blew it up. That's a big sequence for SMU, and the gamble for Nevada. ...yards for SMU. Remember, they like to run it to throw it. Stone play action, ton of time, wandering right, firing back across the middle, and it's caught there. Keyshawn Smith kneels down with a nice catch at the third. Got to get those, but third down situation here. Could be a two down situation for SMU to get a first. Stone is going to keep it, and he's popped right at the 35. This would be, if they do kick it, a 52 or a 53 yarder. There is no wind right now, and let's see what SMU does trajectory to get it there. Yeah, well, one of the things to keep in mind is the weather has cleared up, which I think helps the decision to go ahead and kick this field goal. His career long is 51. This is 52. Will it get there? Yes! And SMU has tied the game. Hold on. Got a flag down. Illegal formation, defense covering the snapper. That penalty is declined. The field goal is good. Had they tried that field goal about 45 minutes ago, that would not have been good because that wind was coming 15 20 right in their face. 45 minutes ago, I probably would have gone for it if I'm SMU in that situation, but weather's cleared up. Rodgers has a good leg. Little play action, man wide open, and it's caught there at the 30. Big play for Nevada. Braham down to the 24. Terrific play action. Lewis sold it, and Braham was open right away. Well, you see what they did was they bunched up the receivers to the left, indicating that they were going to run the football. Then they faked the run, and just a miscommunication that time in the secondary by SMU. Brendan Lewis made the read. Well, I think Brendan Lewis is going to run this football right here. That's what I would do if I'm Nevada in this situation. That's the tight end, Henry, in motion. And this is Lewis bouncing out, has the first down. Flags. A, holding. a lot one. of flags. Like four flags all at once hit the turf. Yeah, you're going to get a holding by Jaden Smith there. As a defender, you're going to see it. Boom. There is, yep. Defenders trying to get off the block there. Brandon Crossley, Fine. give him a shot. Crossley is on Smith, and Lewis is going to keep it. Lewis has a seam, and Lewis has the first down. Wow, that's a 10-yard pickup. Same play they ran earlier in the game. They motion the running back from right to left, and they run that quarterback lead. This time, though, Brandon Lewis is able to find a crease on the cutback. Is the running back. Blitz is coming. Lewis throws. End zone. those 
50-50 balls. And what did Matt Lubick tell us yesterday about what he wanted to see from this receiving core in the offense as far as their improvement? He felt they could be better in those situations, 50-50 balls. And you saw an example of it on this touchdown pass right here. And that's a good corner who's on him, Jalen Davis Robinson. Mountain West this season, they've got 2-10 and ten all over the weight room. Yeah. Yeah. All over the facility. And they, Everywhere these players go, they see it. And the half will end. And they're inspired by it. They're inspired by it, Rich, and it's showing itself tonight. Well, the Jeff Choate era is... ...ball game, but Preston Stone, no, make no mistake about it, he'll be looking to have a big second half and bounce back in this game. Let's go, not a factor. It was in the first quarter, not in the second, and not here to start the third. Stone, back shoulder, caught there. Maryland, the big tight end. And Pass breakup. Second down and 10. Stone, in the pocket, caught there. That's Jordan Hudson, who had 30 catches last year. Hudmage and go faster. Speed is the number one thing for this offense for SMU. Stone pulls it, fires it. Maryland again in the seam, has the catch, and he's got a big chunk of yards down to the 25-yard line. Vatican can hold him to a field goal. That would feel like a win. This is Smith, and he's swallowed up back at the 29-yard line. Well, I don't understand this call right here, Rich. His legs in order to get the first down if needed. Colin Rogers, 43 yards. And that one is good. He hit a 52-yarder and now a 42-yarder. To the quarterback, and you got to give a lot of that credit to Brendan Lewis. Look for him to make another play here on this third down. Little pump. Going to take a shot. There's contact and a flag. This is going to be a first down. The flag's at the 40. Davis Robinson in coverage, and Braham, the intended receiver. Yep. You're going to get a holding penalty. They missed it on the last play. Pass rusher. You got dollars in the backfield. There's that motion again from the running back. Lewis, thinking about running, is going to run it. And he's going to be stopped well short of the first down. Nice job by some of those technical penalties. First week of the season. Now flags hit. And we get more flags. False start. Offense number 16. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Chase Henry, the tight end. And I'm not sure what Nevada's trying to do here. There's a penalty here on, 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 on SMU, on sportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, that's a flag all the way back in the SMU backfield now. This could be a, this be a first down. It would be a dead ball penalty. Yeah, it would be a dead ball penalty. Like conduct, SMU number one, spitting on an opponent. 15 yard penalty. Wow. An automatic first down. There it is. SMU Remember what? SMU number one is ejected. Ones. There's number one. You see him on the right side of your screen there. All right. And there's, the there's a flag. And we don't see it. Plays over. But that flag was not for him spitting at that. Nice. Couple mishaps on this drive. You can still. Get off the field and put your offensive position to get the ball back in this situation. Third down and seven. Flushed as Lewis throws across, and it's caught. First down, Jaden Smith, the big receiver. That's at the 43-yard line. That was a difficult throw. Lewis scrambling to his left and then throwing back across the middle. Yeah, he did a good job scoring. Suavenea also in. Look for the running back to go in motion here towards the line. There it is, towards the tight ends. Give him the ball. Yep. And they throw it to him, and that's Red who's outside and inside the 20 and stops right there at the 19-yard line. Oh, he's got to be more aware of where life and driven inside the 20. SMU has really beat themselves in this game. Lewis throwing end zone. Oh, yep, flags that's a flag. down. He's Two all over. of them. Cortez Braham, yeah. who caught the touchdown in almost that same spot. He almost caught that one with one hand. Here it is right here. You see the left hand of the defender holding the jersey of Braham. That's Kale Sanders Jr. for another score. Lewis. 
This is Lewis. Is he in? No. Came close. Talked about in the game. Savion Red in the backfield. He's going to take this snap. Be aware of him throwing the football, though, but I think he's going to run it. This is Red. Red! Touchdown! Bidding on a player. That kept the drive alive. And Nevada goes down the field, sticks it in the end zone, and stretches the lead. 24-13. Big penalties for SMU. Two of them on this drive. And big plays for Nevada. And the Wolfpack's biggest lead, 24-13. First and 15, play action. Preston Stone stepping, throwing, caught. Popped there after the catch. That's Brashard Smith. And Smith has the first down. Let me because of it, but... Preston Stone, we know that he can do some damage, and there it is right there. Yeah, there it is, and Stone gets out of bounds. That's a gain of us. And to the sideline, good throw there, caught by Brinson, and he dances out of bounds, and it feels like Stone is in rhythm and accurate. Third down and forever. Although you see the defenders playing back, Nevada DBs. This is going to be a quick throw, I think for SMU. Which could get him in field goal range. Stone, there's the quick throw. They're in field goal range, short of the first down. They get to the 35-yard line, be a 52-yarder. By eight points. This game is not over. 51-yarder, he's hit a 52, his career high in this game, and he hooks it. Huge. No Huge. points for SMU. 24-13. Lewis, swing pass. That's Patrick Garwo, who's just into the ball game. For this football team. Destin Hawkins in the backfield now. Lewis trying for the first down. He has it. It's across the 45. That'll move the to six yard pickup, second down and four. Little trickery, little toss to Smith. He's gonna throw it, open there. That's Bellin, has the catch and a first down. Now remember, Jeff Choate spent some time at Boise State, right? So that might be in the Boise State files. This is good execution by Nevada, but I don't necessarily agree with the call right there. You're able to execute, you get the first down, you're keeping the chains moving, it's great. But so many things have gone right for you if you're Coach Choate. And if you get good yardage on this play, you could put yourself in field goal range. Lewis. Little inside screen and it's incomplete. SMU had played it quite well. Preston Stone, four man rush. Stone firing, sideline, open, caught. RJ Maryland, the big tight end, into Nevada territory. Gorgeous throw by Stone. What a throw by Stone, best throw of the night and in the most. Preston Stone hands off. Rashard Smith breaks through, has the first down, still on his feet. And inside the 15, he's down to the 12. Chris Ross. Mew has taken full advantage on the ground. I'd give it to Smith again. Smith again. Touchdown. Flags. Flags down in the backfield. Boy, SMU. I mean, it's been their Achilles heel, Rich. Their work cut out for him. Personal foul, illegal use of hands to the face. Defense number eight. That penalty will be divorced half the distance to the goal in the try. The result of the play is a touchdown. All right, so the touchdown stands. And to your point, Preston Stone, left side of your screen, hands up right there, number eight. Okay, going for two here. Yeah, you convert this, you put your team down just a field goal. L.J. Johnson in the backfield, hammers through. Two-point conversion, successful. Seven, or a three-point game, 24-21. So SMU, a touchdown, a two-point conversion. It's a one-score game now. This was a gorgeous throw. R.J. Maryland. 
got him across midfield. And the Ponies put it in. LJ Johnson, three-point game. You're in that situation. All right, now you're going with a shotgun look in the end zone. The, the handoff is clean. I don't think he got out. It's a safety. I think it's a safety. It is. It's a safety. Jafari Harvey makes the play. And SMU's defense takes advantage of the muffed punt on a fair catch. Ruling on the field is the ball carrier did not get the ball out of the end zone, which results in a safety. I'm not. That snap was not clean. The handoff was not clean. And SMU. We tell for SMU, yes. For the 44. Shotgun snap, four-man rush. Fired to the sideline. It's broken up. There's a flag down in the backfield. Not near the quarterback, but around the tackle box. Face mask. Offense number 69. 15-yard penalty. It's third down. Another great play by Michael Coach Jr. Now, let's look at the penalty here. Good pressure. There it is, face mask right there. By Nevada, forcing the face mask that time, and there's Coates with the, remember last time they were able to get, convert on this check down. You gotta be able to come up and make a play for the Nevada defense. This is third down and 19. Check Short down. throw, that's Knighton with the catch, and he's hit and knocked out of bounds at the 50 yard line. Allow Brendan Lewis to make a good decision by moving this pocket here in this situation. Got to get to the 26. Shotgun, he is throwing it. Fires, deflected and incompletes. So the incompletion, it's fourth down, and Nevada has to punt again. This Looking was the wrong read. Look, play action, shot play to be had on this first or second down play. And remember, the two-minute timeout is new. They'll get it. There's that a shot. throw, and that's Maryland again. That's a huge throw by Stone, and Maryland is across the 30 to the 37. Low pump fake on the screen play, which opens it up down the field for R.J. Maryland that time. Henry Ikahifo, they need a big play from one of their playmakers right here. Stone has time. Now he's flushed and looking and throwing, and it's caught there. And that's Maryland again, and that's a... A little bit unexpected by that Nevada defense. Did not get the first down. Second and inches. Smith straight ahead. That's the first down, and that's the target line. To kick the football. Third down, eight. Stone, again deep, again end oh, zone. Jay Maryland from Preston Stone and SMU is on top. You got to go for two for SMU. Go up seven points if you're able to convert in this situation. But RJ Maryland has absolutely torn this defense apart in the fourth quarter. It's had a quiet game. SMU, SMU takes Third the seconds. timeout. In the fourth quarter, he's been unguardable. And he's 6'4", 240, and they split him out as much as they run him. On. I think got to find R.J. Maryland again. I mean, he's been dominating the fourth quarter. Hudson's in motion. The snap. Stone looking, firing, end zone. It's caught. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. Hudson with the catch, but he was pushed out. Oh, that's reviewable. Oh, did the ball pop out at the end? Ball pops out. Okay, then there's no catch. Once he hits the ground, he does get a foot in bounds. And here it is again. Watts gets his hand in there. There's a left foot down, boom. But then ball pops out. Trying to dodge. A major upset. Brandon Lewis has time. Fires short. Caught there at the 30. That's Dollars. And he that, has the first, first down. down. That yeah. stops the clock. And they'll hustle up. Jonathan McGill on the edge. Let's see if they can get something deep across the middle. On third down, a little inside screen. That'll get a chunk of yardage back. Jaden Smith. And they're going to burn their final timeout. 47 timeout. seconds left. Nevada. 
They're four, third and five. Stops the clock for you. Got to get close to the 46 for the first. Shotgun, four-man rush. Lewis steps up in the pocket, going down the sideline, and it's caught out of bounds. Incomplete. Jalen Davis Robinson had the sideline sealed. Jaden Smith at 6-6 went up and got it, but he's out of bounds, and that's the ball game. SMU is going to escape, and I mean escape, Reno with a week zero win tonight and played a whale of a football game, but they'll come up five points shy to SMU. Lashley and the Mustangs with a win here, 29-24. Well, I'll tell you what, two tough teams really battled it out tonight.